Servers as infrastructure can be very expensive. That's what you realize when your team is trying to develop great innovative products. But you end up saddled with massive overhead from running servers yourself. Let's have a look at an alternative measure for managing your infrastructure. Thanks to cloud computing, we're going to show you how to get rid of this issue by going serverless with AWS serverless computing. We build and run applications without thinking about servers. No need to provision, scale, and manage any of those servers. AWS does all that for you. Great for nearly any type of application or backend. An example could be a mobile application API. So why would we use it? Well, developers can focus on their core products. There's no more time spent on managing and operating servers or runtimes. We can reclaim this time and energy back to develop great products, meaning faster time to market. Let's talk about the benefits of serverless computing. We have no server management, meaning there is no need to provision or maintain any servers. We also have flexible scaling, meaning applications can scale automatically. They can also scale and adjust capacity through toggling the units of consumption, not units of individual servers. Automated high availability. No need to architect for built-in availability and fault tolerance. All these are provided by default. The AWS serverless platform provides a set of fully managed services that you can use to build and run serverless applications. We have compute, API proxy, storage, data store, inter-process messaging, orchestration, analytics, and developer tooling meaning you can focus on product innovation and faster time to market. Let's talk about compute. AWS Lambda lets you run code without provisioning services, meaning you only pay for compute time you consume and you are not charged when your code is not running. API proxy. The Amazon API Gateway processes hundreds of thousands of concurrent API calls. It also handles traffic management authorization and access control, monitoring, and API version management. Moving on to storage. Amazon S3 is a simple storage service for secure, durable, highly scalable object storage. This means we can store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere on the web. Easy to use with a simple web service interface. Data stores. AWS AppSync automatically updates the data in web and mobile applications in real time. It also updates data for offline users as soon as they reconnect. Amazon DynamoDB. What DynamoDB is, is a non-relational database for applications that need performance at any scale. It is fast. Consistent responsiveness, single digit millisecond. It has endless scalability. It's virtually unlimited with throughput and storage. It is fully managed. It's a serverless database which provides automatic scaling of throughput up or down. It is safe. It provides encryption and continuous data backup. Yes, it's ready for big business with mission critical workloads, guaranteed reliability and full oversights of your tables. Inter-process messaging. We have Amazon SNS and Amazon SQS. Amazon SNS, a pub sub messaging service, and SQS, a message queuing service. Both these services make it easy to decouple and scale microservices, distributed systems, and serverless applications. What about orchestration? AWS Step Functions uses visual flows to coordinate the components of distributed applications and microservices, meaning we can scale and change applications quickly. Now on to analytics. We have Amazon Kinesis and Amazon Athena. Amazon Kinesis loads and analyzes streaming data. We can build custom streaming data applications for specialized needs. Amazon Athena also analyzes data in Amazon S3 using SQL queries. And we only pay for the queries that we use. Developer tooling. Continuous integration and delivery, testing, deployments, monitoring and diagnostics, SDKs, frameworks, 
and integrated development environment plugins. All these services are fully integrated with the AWS Lambda service, giving us full capability to have serverless applications. Before we have Lambda, our service computing service, we already have a bunch of different services. For example, simple storage service, S3. There's no server for you to manage. We have DynamoDB, which is a NoSQL server. So NoSQL database service, there's also no server. We have a simple queue service. If you need email, we have email service. Those are our manager service. The latest service is AppSync. It's a GraphQL service we manage it for you, provide you a lot of other benefits compared to like RESTful services. Then you can stitch all those things together. You can build reliable, securely, secure applications on AWS. Let's move on now to the capabilities of AWS Lambda. The Cloud Logic Layer. AWS Lambda has a control plane and logic layer for all your interconnected infrastructure resources and web APIs. When we talk about orchestration and state management, we refer back to AWS Step Functions, which uses visual flows to coordinate the components of distributed applications and microservices. Responsive data sources. Here is where we have integration with S3. The application modeling framework uses the serverless application model, which uses code pipeline and code build to manage the deployments of your AWS Lambda service. The developer ecosystem means we refer back to developer tooling where we have the Cloud9 IDE. The Cloud9 IDE is a cloud-based IDE which allows for the code development of your AWS Lambda service. Let's talk about the application and integrations library. The serverless application repository enables you to quickly deploy code samples, components, and complete applications for common use cases such as web and mobile backends, event and data processing, logging, monitoring, IoT, and more. We can securely control access to your AWS resources with AWS Identity and Access Management. We can manage and authenticate end users of your serverless applications with Amazon Cognito. We can also create private virtual networks using the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Service, or VPC. Lambda is reliable and performant because it has auto-scaling features that will keep the service up at all times. Finally, we have the area of global scale and reach. AWS Lambda is available in multiple AWS regions and in all AWS Edge locations via Lambda at Edge and connected devices with AWS Greengrass. So what are the uses of serverless? AWS Lambda can serve the backend for any application, from mobile and web backends, complete APIs, IoT scenarios where we have event-driven devices to process analytics. We even have the option to handle chatbot requests by fronting the chatbot service with an API hosted on Lambda. Serverless with AWS allows for real-time data processing. And through the many services that can build a serverless application, we can always serve high available and fast running applications. Thanks for watching guys. Please feel free to comment, share and like this video.